whenever you go online, you think about that uh, you're not gonna entirely see hate, but last month or so, I was talking about Baron Corbin, or I posted a Baron Corbin moment on one of my channels, and a lot of people were like, that guy was a failure, that's why he went to NXT, why are we even watching him, and stuff like that. And I kind of don't agree with that, because he's one of the examples that he's great, but the main roster did not work well for him, and now when he's in NXT, actually he's shiny, he's having the tag team titles. But on the other side, there are people who are definitely the things are not working with them and they're not so great as well and we're bringing them in NXT. And now we're gonna talk about the good brothers. Are they good really? Or they're actually the bad brothers? No, no, no offense to anyone. The good brothers are great, but there's something that is not clicking, man. Whenever they're outside of WWE, they're just on a roll, you know? I see everyone talking about them on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I don't watch wrestling on Instagram, but yeah, sure. On my Instagram, I only have memes, but you get the point. But whenever they go in WWE, they're either not shining or they're paired with AJ Styles which I guess it's the obvious choice, but I don't think it's working that well at this point. Or at least I believe that there was a potential there with AJ Styles and him being a heel and them being heels, and they could have teared the house down. But for some reason, AJ Styles turned heel, they stayed faces, after that AJ Styles fully turned on them, and after that, they went to NXT and now they're heels as well. What was the point of both of them being heels? They're kind of on the same page, right? Why? And what is Mia Yim gonna do now? She, she just started to get into the mix. Oh my goodness, what is going on, man? And they're going after the NXT Tag Team titles, but not now, not on Roadblock, but on Stand and Deliver. And do you guys think that they're gonna take it? Uh, wrong. I don't know what you guys said, but I'm telling you it's wrong, no matter what you said, because they're probably not gonna get it. I want Nathan Fraser and Axiom to get it, but I mean, honestly, whenever Nathan Fraser and Axiom go into the ring, they're like two heads below everyone. It's kind of, it's kind of non-believable that they can do anything, even though Nathan Fraser is super funny. But anyway, we're talking about the Good Brothers and the fact that the situation is not that good with them. I don't know what's gonna happen. Their theme song is amazing. I believe their work is amazing, but something is not clicking, man. They need to be badass. I'm okay with them being paired with AJ Styles, but they both need to be heels. Right now they're heels. I don't know why I would split them up, but, but, but forget about AJ Styles. Just be bad guys. Be the baddest guys possible be worse than wolf dogs uh, they're not bad they're making jokes in the ring all day but do that maybe something is gonna work out maybe do some new cool move that is not flippy flop move it, it, it can be cool without being flip flop move you're welcome for all the advices and thank you so much for watching like subscribe share comment if you want if you don't want it doesn't matter what you want peace